Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, it's JD. I'm really sick today, but I'm going to make this video anyhow because I find it to be rather important. So hopefully you will too. Um, it kind of just, in. I was in meditation a minute ago, and I'll be making a video on some meditation techniques here soon. Um, as I've really gotten back into that practice and really beginning to see the the true benefits of it again and it's it's wonderful but the topic today really is is like understanding that when you are working with a particular spirit a particular demon that you are in a relationship with that demon okay and it's no different than like the relationship that you have with your partner, let's say. So, that demon that you're working with is going to be working hard on your behalf in the spiritual realm in order to manifest and bring forth the things that you're asking for, you know, resources, gnosis, whatever the case may be, changing circumstances. And I think you have to understand, too, that when you're in a relationship with these spirits, they are bestowing you with blessings of things that you haven't even asked for as well. So they are always giving. They're always giving to you. Once you've established that relationship, once you are in a rapport with them, they're always giving. And they're taking a look at, you know, and taking stock at, like, what you are doing with the things that they are giving to you like are you taking them seriously do you appreciate them are you using the free time that you have available wisely whatever the whatever it is the, the demon is also taking stock of how you are using the blessings that it is bestowing upon you and one of the key elements in this too is that it is the demon is also taking a look at like well out of all of that that you have because of what I have given to you, what of it are you giving back to me? What of it are you giving back to me to replenish myself so that I can continue to give to you, so that I can continue to bless you? What of your time and attention are you giving back to the demon? What physical things even possibly, like in the mundane world, are you doing in your own life to benefit the demon? Like showing gratitude, showing appreciation, the offering of blood upon the sigil. And you can look at, like, relationships in the same way. You know, sometimes there's a lot of giving and there's like just a lot of taking and there's not a reciprocation. The same thing applies to this. Like, are you in a situation with a demon that you're working with where there's a lot of giving and just a lot of taking? But no reciprocation. That reciprocation is important. Nothing can ever be one-sided. You know, any relationship that you enter into, that is the case. That is the case in working with spirits as well. So that's something to think about. You know, is that something that you have time for? Is that something that you even want to do? Do you even think that you would be willing to show gratitude and appreciation for the things that you've been that you've been given that you've been blessed with? You know, only well, you can answer that one. But anyway, that's just a little quick video. 
I know you've heard it before, it's not what the demon can do for you, but what you can do for the demon that will make all the difference in the manifestations of your magic. Happy Halloween, happy Day of the Dead, everyone. Ugh. I was hoping to do something cool. I didn't do anything last night either. I was feeling sick already. So, um... Oh, I was drinking out of that copper vessel a lot yesterday. Be careful with these copper vessels. I was like puking up copper. Like it, it was gross. Because it like tasted like I was puking up blood. Because I was puking like... I don't know if maybe you're not supposed to put like other types of fluids in the copper vessel. I put some Gatorade in it and I don't know if it has like some kind of weird um like if there was some kind of weird chemical reaction that takes place with some of the chemicals in the Gatorade and it's sitting in a copper vessel like overnight and I drank it. I mean, it tastes like copper when I drink it, like a lot. Like it's like, whoa, like you can taste it's like sucking on pennies. But when I was throwing up this morning, it was just like, it tasted like, blah, it tasted like blood. It was horrible. So I'm definitely not putting Gatorade in the copper vessel again. That's for sure. Whew. But anyway, I'm going to roll out of here. I'm going to go lay down. I feel so sick. It sucks, but hopefully it won't last long. But um, anyway, I love you all, and I hope you're doing well. Happy Day of the Dead. Honor your ancestors today in some kind of way if you can. I'm going to try. I mean, I will. I'm going to do something. I've been spending a lot of time with Belial, so I'm going to continue to do that. But anyway... Um, once again, smell my face, smell it good. Love you all, channel members, soul family members, and all of you. You're awesome. Thank you. Please subscribe. Please give this video a like. Love y'all.